The 5th of July has always been quite a big date. For a, a few weeks now, the Russians have been saying that they wanted to withdraw people from the plant by the 5th of July. That's the Ukrainian civilians who work at the plant, the technicians, as well as some of their forces, and quite a lot has been seen happening. Um, the Ukrainians have been saying for some time that they've seen explosives being taken to the plant and, and placed there. I mean, there's been some explosives there since last August. And the Ukrainians are now saying that, that uh, numbers three and four, you know, there, there they are, numbers three and four, counting from the left to the right, one, two, three, four, those middle two have been uh, placed with explosives at the top, at the top of the reactors. And that's very interesting because anyone trying to blow a reactor up will blow it up from the bottom. But if you explode something from the top, that almost certainly is to make it look as if it's incoming artillery mm -hmm. rounds that would do it. If that's true, that's what's being said. And so, and last night, or now about uh, uh, 27, 28 hours ago, um, power to numbers three and four was cut off. So numbers one, two, five and six are still on main grid, but three and four have been taken off the grid and are put on auxiliary, auxiliary power only. Mm -hmm. Now, that suggests something's going to happen to numbers three and four. The Russians have been saying for a long time, and Russian telegram channels are alive with chat in the last day, that the Ukrainians are planning to, to attack the plant. That's ridiculous, but it's what they're saying. So the whole thing looks as if it's building up at least to the, the, the edge of a false flag operation of a major uh, nuclear accident. So, so, so two questions there. How likely, therefore, it sounds like likely, based on what we just said, is some form of explosion on numbers three and four, uh, and how likely is it that it's a, a truly damaging nuclear uh, yeah. disaster versus something that's just meant to scare people? Second question first, um, if it happens, then it will be something akin to Chernobyl of 1986. Because although these, these, these plants are all powered down, they're, they're not working, they still have fuel rods in them, the rods have got to be kept cool, and if, they, if they're exploded... Even with the explosives on the top? Exactly, exactly. It would still cause damage, and they will probably overheat, even, even in their passive state, and so there will be some nuclear fallout, and then it depends on which way the wind is blowing. It might blow over Russia, but equally it might blow over the West. Western Europe. Now, <clears throat> will they do it? Well, there's been, a, there's been a, a, a campaign going for a long time now that the Russians have been talking about this. And they, what they're saying is, if, if the Ukrainians attack us, and the Ukrainians certainly are pushing from Zaporizhia, Z the Ukrainians own Zaporizhia, the city, but Zaporizhia power plant is the other side of the river, a little way south, and the Russians have got that. And they're saying, if the Ukrainians attack us, and remember, Ukraine has had a news blackout now on, across Zaporizhia, so something is happening. If they attack us, then they, they will probably shell the plant. The Russians have been saying that for a long time. So they want to frighten everybody, and they've reached the point now of maximum fear. But are they mad enough to do it? Yes, they are.